Hello, and welcome to this short video presentation on nominalization. Before I begin, there is a worksheet that accompanies this video, so pause this slide now and download it. The link is in the description below. Okay, so let's begin. What is nominalization? Nominalization is the process of changing verbs or adjectives to nouns. Why use nominalization? Well, there are three main reasons. The first is that the nominalization grammatical process develops more complex grammar, noun, phrase structures. The second is nominalization helps achieve a higher degree of abstraction and technicality. And the third is that nominalization is a typical feature of academic writing. So let's begin by looking at an example sentence and how the process works. Here is a basic sentence. We analyze the data from the experiment and it revealed that children react when they have too much sugar. This type of sentence is okay, but could be improved by a process of changing the verbs to nouns known as nominalization. The first part of nominalization process is to identify the main verbs. These are here, analyzed, revealed, react, and have. The next part is to identify which verbs can be nominalized. The key verbs in this sentence are analyzed and react. The next step is to change these verbs to nouns. If you are not sure, you can use an English to English dictionary like the Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary to help you. The link is in the description below and on the worksheet. Here on the website, just put the verb into the search box and in the dictionary definition of the verb, look to the right and here are some of its word forms. The noun of analyze is analysis. Just a small disclaimer though, it doesn't always show all the word forms and you may need to use a variety of dictionaries for this. Okay, so here are the two words. Analyzed equals analysis and react equals reaction. Now you rewrite the sentence using these nouns. You may need to change other word forms, add articles and prepositions and change the grammar to make the nouns fit grammatically. Here is my sentence and you can see how the nouns have been used. Perhaps pause the slide now and look at my changes. Now that leads me on to exercise one and all of these exercises that are about to appear are in the worksheet. Exercise one is a word form or word class activity to change the verbs into nouns. It's really important to build up verb to noun knowledge to make nominalization a more of a natural process. So in this table, there are 26 common academic verbs and I'd like you to pause the slide and try to add the corresponding nouns for each verb. You can use a dictionary as mentioned before. So please pause the slide now. Okay. Here are the answers. Pause the slide and check your answers. So, I hope you did well. It's not easy and it will take time to learn. Now we'll move on to the next activity, exercise two. Exercise two is to nominalize these sentences. Exercise 2.1, Read the sentence below and identify the main verbs. Exchange these for nouns and rewrite the sentence. Pause the slide and do this exercise. Here is a possible answer. Now, there are many ways to write this, so if yours is completely different, 
than mine, I'm sure it's fine too. Pause the slide and compare to your sentence. Here are the key changes made. And here is the structure of the noun phrase. Okay, now another exercise to normalize a sentence. Exercise 2.2. The same again. Read the sentence below, identify the main verbs, exchange these for nouns, and rewrite the sentence. Pause the slide and do this exercise. Here is a possible answer. Pause the slide and compare to yours. Here are the key changes made. And here is the structure of the noun phrase. Great, I hope that was helpful. It's not easy at first, but practice really helps. If you want more practice, then go to our paying download. The link is in the description below. Okay, now let's try something different. Exercise three is a guided writing practice. I will provide two sentences called sentence heads. These are noun phrases, and all you have to do is finish off the sentence. Pay attention to the context or the meaning of the sentence head and the grammatical structure. So pause the slide and finish off these sentences. Okay, here are my answers. Again, these are sample answers and there are many, many alternatives. So pause the slide and compare your sentences to mine. Great. Actually, you're all very welcome to put any of your sentences from this lesson today into the comments below and I'll check them when I can. Well, unfortunately, that's the end of the video today and I hope you enjoyed it. It was a brief overview of nominalization and if you would like more practice, then you can go to the web page here, Academic English UK slash nominalization for more information and more exercises. Of course, for more information on all areas of academic writing and grammar, then please go here to Academic English UK slash writing. Well, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.